what is up y'all welcome to the channel today we're going to be talking about three tips for new videographers or youtubers whatever the case may be i hope that you uh enjoy the video it's going to be like three tips for a new videographer from a new videographer i've been doing this almost about a year and a half two years and i'm going to try to share some tips with you today so you can get better um, like i'm trying to get better let's do this Alright, so let's talk about tip number one. Tip number one, write down your ideas. Write down what kind of video you want to shoot, what, what is the purpose of the video, and write down or even draw some shot lists. Where do you want to go shoot this video at? What do these shots mean? You know, I use paper. I even write, write my stuff down on paper like a small notebook. And I also use an app called Notion. And there's other apps that you can use I'll put it in the link in the description but there's a few other ones I'll put it on the screen here so you can see it but you know writing down your ideas and coming up with your ideas first definitely has been a improvement for me and my channel in the beginning I would just grab my camera come up with some idea and go out there and shoot and you can see that in the details of the first videos that I did now, you can go back and watch my old videos and tell that that's what I did exactly. They didn't get a lot of views, and even if they did, it was because it was because, it was because, 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 it was because of, it was talking about something that was very on hype at the moment. So like when the Sony a7 IV came out, it, right before it came out, before it was released, I made a video talking about it. And when I did, that video blew up, but I didn't plan that video out like I should have and it just didn't it just doesn't look good so when you don't plan your videos out people don't watch them for very long you don't uh, keep their interest for very long is what i've learned the more that i write down the idea i come up with the concept of the video and getting better at that has made my videos more interesting and people are staying and watching the videos longer all right so that's tip number one let's go somewhere else because it's so loud here i'm right here by the mall in biloxi and it's windy and it's loud. So let's go somewhere else for tip number two. All right guys, what's up? We're in a place called Fishbone Alley and it's in a place in downtown Gulfport and it's real artistic. You've probably seen some B-roll of it by now or I'm gonna show it here in a second. But um, I wanna talk about tip number two. Tip number two today, uh, for your beginner videographer if you're starting to do YouTube or even if you're starting to do client jobs You want to make sure that you check your gear before you leave the house You know, I've made the mistake of leaving the house with a uh, dead batteries or forgetting batteries or forgetting my microphone You know anything like this could happen So before you leave the house you want to make sure that you check everything that you charge your batteries that you format your cards and or save the photos or images from the last photo shoot or video that you made. You wanna make sure that you keep all that. You know, I've made these stakes before and got to the editing program on the computer, went to go start editing and noticed that uh, I formatted the whole card and there's nothing on it. You know, I've made mistakes like this. So it's definitely a tip that you wanna hang on to. Check your gear, check your cards, check your batteries. All those things are very important. Get on to tip number three. Welcome to tip number three. So let's recap real quick what we've already went over. Tip number one, we talked about writing down your ideas, drawing out a shot list. And tip number two, we talked about checking your camera gear and checking, making sure that you have everything for the video that you're about to shoot. Even if it's a YouTube video, if you're doing a client list job, you know, all that. So tip number three, get familiar with your camera. That your aperture, your ISO, your white balance, all those things are gonna make a difference in the shot that you're about to take. Also, get familiar with your camera, like really intimate with your camera. Understand what kind of shots your camera can do and what kind of dynamic range the camera has. All that stuff makes a difference when you're trying to get a decent shot with your camera. So make sure you're doing all those things before you even hit record. Your ISO, your white balance, all those things are so important, guys. Make sure that you do that before you hit record. Guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you hit the like button and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.